Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and racism is bad. Ooh, what a hot take right there. Now ladies and gentlemen, why I'm saying that is the video today that we're going to watch together is Racist Man Humiliates Indian Migrant, Get Out of My Country! And they got it all in red too. Now this is by Dramatize Me, which is kind of like off-brand uh, Darman, if you will. Now ladies and gentlemen, this Darman has basically spawned an entire industry of these storytellers with these outlandish, outlandish stories that, you know, one could simply just look at and, and 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 just laugh at as a community together and there are some wholesome life tips to get now of course we know racism is bad all right you know if you're if you believe in racism think about it like this human beings are all the same inside disgusting and pink at the end of the day life is not like the elder scrolls okay red guards do not have plus 30 to athleticism and furries cannot see in the dark all right that's not how the world works let's get right into a racist man humiliates indian migrant then karma switches their position all right, let's start off with this uh, ATM transaction. Let's go. Hey, creep. Get out of here. I'm sorry, sir. Don't touch me with your black hands. I'm all right, we're, we're firing racism on all cylinders. He's a, he's a, he's an Indian guy. Okay, all right. Let's 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 calm down. Let's calm down there, Steve. Not done using the machine yet. It's been 15 minutes. Come on. Not done using the machine yet, but he's putting in the money back into his pocket. Okay, okay, there, buddy. It's been 15 minutes, come on. You're wrong, sir. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Look, in which country this IDM is? In my country, am I right? Yes. With the money of my country in it, am I right? Yes. So what makes you think that you have the same rights as I do? I don't know, bro. Maybe it's called the Bill of Rights. I love how these two people in the back are just having their avocado toast or whatever expensive Starbucks fucking latte they're drinking. And they're obviously not giggling and laughing at this obvious fake display of, of fucking dramatize me racism. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see where this hashtag inspirational story will take us. Give it to me. Nonsense. Give me my car. Don't touch me. Go back to your country. You know what? Because of you clowns, our normal white guys cannot make a living. Our white normal people cannot feed the families because of you. You know what we did to you, to your people a couple of years ago? We put you in the jail to rot. So take your little magic Kashmir carpet and fly away out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, not all Aladdin is not an Indian story. God, I hate all these Facebook browsing dipshits who think that. God damn. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that's just what I expected. Now, obviously, after that fake display over there, okay, and that, ba like, this entire dude's life is out of, like, what somebody believes 4chan poll is, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. This dude's entire epitaph of racism, it's what some, like, normie believes, like, poll is like, okay? So, I have great news to share with you. Yesterday, our head office appointed a new director of the branch. Okay, guys, we're gonna do screenwriting cliche assessment number one. Now, there are three possible choices I'm gonna give to you. Do you think the new, uh, do you think the new um, director of the branch is, uh, is, is, a, is a Turian named Garrus, that's A. Do you guys think it's a spooky ghost is B, all right, like Casper, or number C, is it the same Indian guy that was at the ATM, st at the ATM stall? Let's let's uh, let's try figuring this one out, Buckos. New colleague and new head of the branch, Mr. Upadhyay. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, did you answer number? Did you answer C, by the way? Oh, congratulations. You're actually not a dipshit. Good job. Pat yourself on the back, there, Einstein. Good shit. Let's go forward. Racist Steve ain't exactly enjoying this scenario. So let's go forward, okay? What what kind of antics is our favorite Stormfront user gonna go to this time? <laughs> Now, would you kindly listen to me? I'll stand. All right. That's your right. Now, as you know, we've had a conflict this morning. And unfortunately, as we continue to work, we will have disagreements. But I urge you to take the path of peace, Mr. Bill. Try to change the way we communicate. I mean, no racism at work. And if we are to continue to work together, there is one golden rule that I need you to memorize by heart. And that is, all humans are equal. Understood? 
Oh, God. Oh, no racism at work? Surely you can't do this. That's fucked up, Mr. Chandrakan. You can't just do that. Mr. Chandrakan, you can't do that with me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Walker here, Billy Walker here is about to lose it, all right? He can't be racist at work? Oh, no. Oh, no. What is he gonna do now? So, how is your workplace? Is everything all right? Do you like everything? The office? Yeah. Spacious, cozy. I like it. Thank you. Glad to hear, glad to hear. Then half of the job is done then. All you need to do now is to pick your team. By the way, that's the reason why I came here. I'm all ears. You know, we expect a very big budget loss coming and for us. This means a huge number of layoffs. We hired a big team, but what we don't have is a good leader as you are. So your first task as a manager will be to trim the team. Damn, dude! You hire the Indian guy as a manager, but you don't have the balls to start firing people? That is what I hate. God, you're putting my boy Chandrakan into a terrible position, you awful, awful boss! Now, of course, what is our friend racist Bill Walker here going to do? Well, he's going to realize that my actions have consequences. I'll probably be fired. Now, do you think that that'll play out the way that we expect? Or is Bill going to have the guardian angel from above come and make him dodge some bullets? Let's watch. The boss is having a meeting with investors. Oh my goodness, what a circus. Okay, Gandhi, let's play a real wide game. Let's see who fires who. You're gonna start poisoning people. Oh. Right there, ladies. He could have simply just stopped the racism. He could have just he could have just stopped. He could have just been a non-degenerate. But what does he do? He decides maybe we'll start poisoning the investors. That are pro like what is the play here? Okay, is the play firing your guy? Like at the end of the day, if the investors don't come on board and they're literally poisoned, you do realize you're still out of a job. No matter what he does, he's fucked. But then again, Walker doesn't exactly think now, does he? Let's go forward. Indian fish. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Muchly? before we go into this room, <laughs> there's no way he's so comical. <laughs> Some Indian tea, of course. Oh my god, he's but such I a comical guy. Oh no, he's hit under the table. I've watched enough adult videos to know that doesn't go by well. Cheers. Cheers. That that's the that's the tea. It's uh, Chinese. Uh, shut up, eh? By the way, like goddamn, dude. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I can see that's white wine. I'm not as high as her boy here, but holy crap, we do actually look pretty similar. Goddamn. I don't want to feed into the stereotypes. I don't want to give my Reddit more ammunition. Stop it. Cheers. That's crazy. It's really wonderful. You know what people need, Mr. Stone. You got that right. <laughs> yeah, sip of wine, dude, and you're already aware I need to sign paperwork. God damn. I don't I don't feel so good. What is this? Hitman 3? That's the fastest acting poison I've ever seen. God damn. Why the, why the hell did why the hell did our racist friend even have that in the office to begin with? That's so many plot holes now. What? <laughs> I can't. He's so comically bad. I know like I know this guy's supposed to be a degenerate, but he's so comically stupid. It's not even funny. You just got caught poisoning. Now in the real world, we call this consequence getting arrested for poisoning human beings, okay? This is a bad thing to do. Never ever do this. There is no life lesson to learn. You see that hashtag live your best life? This dude's gonna be living a enlarged rectum life when he ends up in the goddamn slammer, given what he's just done. But of course, that's reality. In the dramatized me universe, well, this all leads into a hashtag life tip. What exactly are we celebrating? The deal. The boss signed Linden yesterday. No way. How did he Come do that? On. Yesterday? I saw the investors just ran away, literally. They got poisoned. Yeah, man. Epic story. <laughs> yeah, man. Epic story, dude. Our company's totally tossed into this shit. Thank God they had signed the contract before getting poisoned. No. No, I'm, I'm actually with Walker right now. 
I don't care what happens. If I sign a contract at your company and then I get poisoned, I'm ripping that contract up. I don't care. I am backing out. I'm paying all the fees. I am not working with you, you degenerate shitbag of a company. I don't understand. This this story don't make half the, this story don't make sense at all. The piece of information I have to share with you today. You guys must have heard some rumors about a wave of layoffs. Well, Exhale, this contract has allowed us to refuse to lay off any employees from our branch. <laughs> oh, that is the most unbelievable level of bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, only in the dramatized me universe can they misspell branch and call it brunch. And also, for some godforsaken reason, not have the actual poisoner arrested. What this dude committed was a crime, okay? This guy's dodging so many bullets, he might as well be in a fucking Matrix movie. God damn. Okay, now like all these stories, they always have some level of a uh, ending story, okay? They always have some lesson to be learned, okay? Let's see what the lesson in this one is. I brought you this. It's a letter of resignation. Are you serious? You think I couldn't have fired you on the first day? Yeah, no, you could have fired him on the first day. You should have him arrested yesterday, you dumbass. They're both stupid. Hatred breeds more hatred. This is why I didn't fire you. You are a racist, Walker. You hated me because of race. And if I would have fired you on the first day, you would have carried this hatred out into the world. Walker, you're a fucking degenerate racist. But see, if I fired you, who knows who you started poisoning? There's an Indian orphanage down the street. You might as you would have started going crazy over there. God damn! See, I like it. He's kind of a little martyr of a, of a company boss. Again, in the real world, Walker would be looking at a fucking prison cell, all right? He would... He, getting fired would be the least of this dude's concern. But then again, this is a hashtag inspirational story. And uh, prison gangs are definitely not an inspirational story. Wow, after poisoning people and not getting fired, Walker has realized, man, I am really fucking lucky and my boss is a total dipshit. I better take this gravy train to the end. And so Walker isn't getting fired. In fact, hopefully this story has made Walker go from racist to not racist. In fact, so not racist that he's on Logan Paul anti-racism territory. And that, my friends, I guess is the place that most people should aspire to be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was a good old fashioned uh, dramatize me video dramatize me even asked was the new boss right no to fire bill no the new boss is a dipshit dude uh this guy should be in prison a white chalk is useless without a blackboard maintain equality maintain peace there's more than two races all right god damn that is something that i would read on a facebook message god God! Now, ladies and gentlemen, somebody that I absolutely love is good old Darman. Darman is the originator of this kind of shit, and he's the dude that's like a real 10-head strat player. Now, Darman ain't gonna write the words racist or anything. Mm -mm. What he's gonna do is say, teacher accuses student of doing drugs, instantly regrets it. Now, in the thumbnail, he's got this, like, one black kid who's just, you know, all dressed up with a hoodie on, the black sunglasses, a little bit of an angry demeanor. Darman knows what he's doing. Darman knows you can't just right 1992 fbi crime stats darn man knows you got to be a little subtle with that shit dude a little broadway bro down if you catch my drift janitor found what drugs <laughs> what the fuck kind of drugs are those all right those are some fisher price drugs if i've ever seen an audience god damn right here in your classroom just keep an eye out for anyone who looks suspicious oh i will all right <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure to look out for anybody i got it and she immediately like stares at the one like stumbling in black kid who's just all dressed up in the shadiest get up you can find there is no subtlety in the darman universe okay darman is painting an absolute picture even fucking blind people could see okay now i'm just gonna state for the record all right this I, I'm, I'm not the only one seeing it all right but for the last six months watching darman videos this without a doubt is a gender bent linus tech tips okay so let me tell you right now before before we segue into another sponsor they, uh, if i have to see it you gotta see it okay so it's gonna be it's gonna be right there burned into your head i don't care by the way i love this chick she is the best actress over at at the darman group i'm just saying for the record nobody can match up to this beautiful person oh, 
All right, Marcus, you got this. Let's see. It is not that hard. He went up there for five seconds and she lost know, it. Just, God damn. I'm having a really hard time concentrating. Uh huh. And why is that? Are you trying to hide something? Is that why you got those sunglasses on? No, 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 not at all. No? Okay. Go ahead and remove your hood and your sunglasses. Oh no. Oh no, we're about to see is Marcus truly high? Let's watch it. Look at me. Yo, Marcus is blitz, dude. I don't care what you say. Marcus smoked that fat doobie, but he didn't buy the visine. Bad strat right there. Bad strat. You're right. I've gotten like no sleep. And what, what happened was... Oh, I, I was knew it was you. What? What was me? First, you don't turn in your homework. Then you fall asleep in my class, and you come up here with these bloodshot eyes. Admit it. You're on drugs. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> he definitely got sober in the last 20, like 20 milliseconds. Look at that. He went from bloodshot red eyes to like, I'm not high. I'm a choir boy all of a sudden, dude. Mar Marcus, Marcus has got that superpower, dude. I like it. I wish I had that after a bar night, dude. We found out that your son is on drugs. What? <laughs> he can't no. get high. <laughs> no, there's no way. Marcus would never. That's what I said. He fell asleep in class. His eyes are bright red. And there are a lot of other facts. Dude, she is the greatest actor. There are a lot of other facts. See, I love Darman. He just doesn't say it. It's all up to interpretation. It is what it is. Bro, you know, you know she's got 1992 FBI crime statistics going on in her head. You know she's about to drop that bomb. But see, in the Darman universe, the audience makes up for that. Dude, it's like it's like watching an old Disney movie with your parents. Like as a kid, you don't you don't see all the sexual innuendo. But your parents are just laughing at all the dicks and penis jokes and vagina jokes all around. Dude, I love Darman. He's just tapped into... Darman is the greatest YouTuber to ever exist. There will never be a better YouTuber aside from, like, you know, anybody that... This is the best YouTuber. This is it. This is the greatest one I found over here. End of story. You see, Marcus and his father have always been close. If you ever asked him, he'd always say that he had the best dad in the world. But what he didn't know is that his father wasn't the very best husband. He's just literally on Tinder during dinner. What a fucking guy. What a degenerate. My God. He's not even hiding it from his wife. The phone is angled to his wife. He is literally Tindering on his cell phone right now with his wife and child in the room. This dude don't care. Marcus is actually more of a dipshit. How did you not catch your dad being this degenerate while at the dinner table? You, my friend, have blinders on. He didn't even try very hard to hide it. I knew it wasn't right, but... Oh no! Left. No, I swear, get out of here! Marcus get out of here! What are you on about? No, don't cheat on me! <laughs> that ain't my wife. <laughs> Until one day. What is this, dude? Marcus found out for himself. Oh no, Marcus caught his dad being a prick. He walked uh -oh. in on his dad. And it's him. over. Yo, mom knows exactly what's up. She planned this out, dude. She knows it. She's got the divorce court strats ready. See, that's a reasonable explanation. Marcus wasn't wasted. He was just crying because he was like three years late to figuring out about his deadbeat father. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you should ask before assuming. And I'm glad I basically destroyed the reveal before this. But let's go on further, okay? Let's finish it off. But it doesn't change the fact that we found drugs in the classroom. And I know they belong to your son. No. No, no I'm I'm trying to tell you, they weren't mine. There is no way. Those were not his. My son does not do any drugs. You know, with that kind of conviction, I believe her, dude. Her son ain't getting high. But who is really getting high? Let's find that out, audience. God, she has like the perfect smug face. Ah! She's such a great actress. Oh my God, just give her an Emmy already. She is totally, she's got the Facebook vibe going all the way through. I love it. I love every single aspect of it is great, dude. Look who I found doing drugs in the bathroom. What? Adam? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I just can't believe it, dude. Discount Zach Efron's been popping pills in the bathroom and she was raw under your nose. You are a bad teacher. Get over it. There you go, audience. And this leads us to the end. So you see, you really should ask instead of just assuming video by Darman. I feel like this translates in my mind to maybe you just shouldn't racially profile. I take that pretty seriously because I fly a lot and U.S. Customs definitely likes to finger my asshole. Uh, sir, Mr. Mudahar, can you step aside for a random search? Oh boy, does that send me into a tizzy. Random my ass. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a good old-fashioned Darman flick and I absolutely love it. I think Darman has basically created a universe on YouTube that everyone can just tap into. Now, I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys like it, I definitely want to laugh at more of these. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it where it's at. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. Don't be racist, all right? And, and don't ask instead of assuming. <laughs> these are the wildest videos. That being said, this is me, Muda, and I am out.